we yes right and 295 by 340 there on that 620 uh, that's the one that we free featured in pre-market and in this probably this a uh, couple of other videos how to trade pre-market uh, how to understand how the lows get put in understand why the calls go higher understand this 60 minute chart over here that these tops here and now right now on this opening bell at 6:47 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on 12 2 of 2011 and this is the beginning of teaching the MMT students how these resistance tops that were back over here on these dates see so 1117 that's where this top went down but see how the 60 minute opening bell is pushing up through there because it's this trend line right here woo -wee. see that's where you want to see the body of that first so you have resistance one two and three and you have a very crucial area in our platform the MMT platform once again we just made that crucial area but we did not get above 618.96 and until we do we have not cleared that major area as of right now since we have started this weekly trend two months ago with how to trade and spot and then take advantage of daily markets buying these big gains on these calls and understanding these puts and understanding where this trend is we must get up above there this is a 60 minute chart and we must take out and close above these highs we're taking them out and you got to take them out and you got to go through on this 60 minute chart and this is live and it's the opening bell it's 649 it's 12 2 it's 2011 the thing that we really enjoy is our MMTs are benefiting from that trade management and identifying how to let winners run and taking a look at that gap sequence the intraday low was yesterday's high 60 minute high there and you can see clearly in the first 20 minutes of the opening bell of the 60 minute bar that that low wick at that trend line was yesterday's high right there and we've been teaching MMTs what that means on a daily level to establish stronger term trends and once again this is the part of that first you know opening bell uh, how this first 60 minute between the buyers and the sellers we got up here the bid is 61820 but we got to close above this to get to our 622 and 625 area all of you MMTs one of the things that we're going to point out is that the fear indicator where Google trades is that we had a big left elbow gap down and the VXN is going higher and why that's going higher that's why we have a pullback in Google and it's all happening in 23 minutes of the opening bell on a Friday's jobs report and that the fear goes up stocks come down the fear goes up off of the bottom on the open then that means that stocks are short sell at the highs when this goes up you buy the fear and you sell short over here when this stops going up and goes back down then stocks will find support how to apply the fear indicator on an opening bell VXN and it's live and it's right there at your half bar of the opening bell it's all live it's all live right here we did not break above that and we're 24 minutes into the opening bell and how do I identify gap open sequences and breakouts that follow and why are pullbacks going to be strong in price and how do you gauge pullbacks for entries and exits on the opening bell in 25 minutes of the opening bell between who the buyer the seller the close the gap the high reversal back to here all right all within the buyer and the seller on the opening bell 
in our MMT platform. We can clearly see that our platform says that you're at 55, you made a 0.31, so you're at 0.26 ratio, that equals $4.34. You are up 5.02 teenies, all on the opening bell, and all on the opening bell. How do I square into a trade? And how do I buy pullbacks? And you will notice that the that the uh, SPX, S&P, went straight up on that opening bell pullback. And as it goes higher, Google right here goes higher. And we're going to come back up here on Google now. So you look at indexes as well on the opening bell. And if they go up a tick, well, you go up here too. And here's your diamond support level on Google on the opening bell. How to apply fear indicator. Um, another thing that we would like to tell people is how do I apply on the NASDAQ right here. This is called NASDAQ comp, three minute chart. But look, I pull back here, but as I go up and break out here in the first 26 minutes, then you can see how Google goes up and how they follow each other. Another one that you would like to know about that's very clear is how that Dow works the same way. That's the big movement on the opening bell. There's the pullback. There's that Dow Jones moving up. And you can see how the leadership Google goes higher right along with that bounce on that Dow from this opening bell. That's all 27 minutes opening bell on a jobs report. NASDAQ 100. This is a really good one here. NASDAQ 100. That's what this is. And you can see that when you came down from this gap on the NASDAQ 100, look at that buy bar, look at that, and look at how Google did the same thing. So there's correlations. Look, the fear indicator on, on the VIX, on the opening bell, is down here at the bottoms, building a base. That means there's less fear in the market and people feel good about equities on the opening bell, on the opening bell, on the opening bell. The GLD on the opening bell. What a nice sell short gap. They pull it back here. That's that gold ETF. GLD on the opening bell. Opening bell. Green Mountain Coffee gaps up. It comes up to this top teeny right here. GMCR. People are building shorts on the opening bell gap on Green Mountain Coffee. They are. We can take a look here. At the bear, the SQQ on the opening bell, first half hour on the opening bell. You can see it gapped down, it made its high, it's pulled back, it's not collapsing. That is the bear. The bear is building a little bit of momentum on that opening bell, on that opening bell. That price line short that we talked about up here, shorting that high, getting in back down here at 492. We featured this in pre-market. We featured this on the opening bell. This is the trade management. Let us not be in denial of this opening bell, of this opening bell. Price line sell short gap. We covered that. How to square low volume entry trades and make money. What a nice trade on the opening bell. Another one that we like to look at is how that bull is acting. And if the bull right now had that big gap, they pull it back to support, that's called the TQQQ now, opening bell, opening bell, first 30 minute, opening bell, 6.59 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, Google continues to break higher, Google continues to break higher, this is the bull, TQQQ, we're at 96, we are breaking higher ratios, that means that our contracts are going much higher over here. Our 620 calls for 1217 are just giving incredible gains. I would say so on an opening bell. There's your 60 minute chart. You have taken out that resistance that we talked about on that first 30 minute print. You took out this major resistance on this 60 minute chart. In our market maker platform, we're doing quite well with these diamond alerts. There's the gap. It pulled back right along with the other indexes, and we continue to remain strong. We're breaking ratio highs on this opening bell at 98. 
Look at this featured trade. Look at that high. Look at those puts. I'm going to drop the 620 put from $1.50. I'm dropping it down to 60 cents right here. 60 cents on Friday, 12 to 620 put. Options expiration. We are 30 minutes into the opening bell with Google breaking all time highs right along with other things. We've got that Apple reversal coming off. There's that gap. There's that burn. It's nice. It's running higher. Just remember 393 as a resistance. And here's that sign. Of it's sideways. Not doing much of anything on the opening bell. Badoo. Badoo was a short right out of that gate. Now it's going to set itself up on Badoo. On Badoo. Chinese internet stock opening bell sell short gap opening bell 30 minute oh my goodness that's what it's about not to mention the Amazon trade on that opening bell look at one two three four five six seven teenies right to that short and they brought it right back there's that short at 198.50 there's that two dollar move here's how they're building that opening bell Amazon feature amazon.com on that opening bell I'm concluding the 30 minute opening bell on a jobs Friday I'm concluding that we must get to our Google trade and like I said when we started this out and we have all the live videos from going back and the reason why we were buying this thing and the reason why it would go higher when everyone had abandoned the leader and we had shown how to buy a weekly sell signal we have a complete series of real live entries just like we're doing here now and we are and just like we're showing MMTs that outside of their market maker platform is what the public looks at and there's that 60 minute top right there on this opening bell and you took it out you did you actually took it out right there and not only that I'm concluding the opening bell uh, look at your opening bell and my S&P we have resistance at 1257 I updated that S&P and I told you where that was and I told you the reason why that you have to close above that to get up to our 1265 and we still have other big traders in these call contracts let us not forget they're 17 by 1840 all right and that was that big 1265 call let that be known let that be known on the opening bell let that 60 minute buy signal be known on that opening bell understand that you have now hit my 620 level that we started seven weeks ago in the price action making an all-time high in that opening bell in that opening bell you have hit that 620.80 yes you have and I dropped that 620 put and I dropped it down to a much lower level from a dollar fifty we featured that 620 put at a dollar fifty bid we featured the fact that it closed at 720 and we featured the fact that you would be quite surprised if it got down there I'm canceling all on that 620 put I'm gonna put it down at 25 pennies on a Friday 12-2 2011 I'm putting it down at 25 pennies I'm putting it down cancel all 12 to 2011 and it's live it's here it's now you're three minutes into it you made that all-time high a 621 22 on that 60 minute handle right there not only that you have been thromboning that opening bell you can take a look at your MMT platform you're burning you hit 0.44 almost a half a delta 7.45 equal dollar amount there's that pullback there's that strong breakout you're doing everything that we want this name to do to get to 622.50 and to get up to that 625 handle to reach its channel and it's possibly that if we can hold and move into next week that maybe we see 627.50 to the upside and not only that we'll be doing a special operation on taking out those highs on taking it watch that 620 put it hit at all 70 it's okay stay on that one I'm gonna conclude trade management with MMTs live here now and we just made a swing high and now we will continue to let the 1217 calls do their thing 
the most important thing is how do I identify 60 minute gap open lower price entry levels and then how do I identify selling into strength I'm concluding the opening bell